on historical love island. It's time for personal trainer Matt to couple up with one of our three remaining historical hotties. Will he crack on with Chiara, the Austrian peasant? Will his roaming eye pick up the Roman rag trader Cassia? Or couple up with gorgeous George and Jane Austen? This is really tricky for me, right? Because obviously you're all well fit, but I think I'm going to go with number... Oh. He's gone for stunning storyteller Jane Austen. So I was looking her up, yeah, and it says she likes Reading, which is where I grew up. It's pronounced Reading. Nah, it's not, mate. I grew up there, so. I thought the men in this villa would be like those in my novels. Brooding and sensitive, like Mr Darcy in Pride and Prejudice, which is available in all good bookshops. <laughs> So can modern man Matt navigate the many rules of Georgian courtship and woo our writer? Jane. Oh, you used my Christian name before we are engaged. Oh, sorry, babes. Oh, don't just stand there. We must walk as we talk. Oh, what, are you trying to reach your 10,000 steps or something? <laughs> you must know that it is impossibly vulgar for a young lady to stand around talking to a gentleman. What would people think? We're having a chat. All he has to do is bring a card to my family home during his morning calls, which, of course, only happen in the afternoon. He must never acknowledge me if I have an older sister of marriageable age until she herself has found a husband. He must yeah, say, I'm pretty sure you'd have lost Matt at card. Oi, oi, gorgeous. Fancy a dance? Uh, well, I suppose a dance could be appropriate. Whoa, without gloves. Unthinkable. Cheeky. All right, then. Let's dance the night away. <laughs> the night? Any true gentleman knows that a lady would never honour him with more than two dances in an evening. Unless... Unless what? Unless you mean us to be married. Ooh. No thanks, you're right. It all makes sense now. The bare naked hands, the use of my Christian name. It's actually all moving a bit fast for me, Jane. I know. I shall need some time to consider my response before you meet with my father and draw up the marriage contract. Yeah, you take your time with that, babe. In fact, whilst you're thinking about it, I might just go check out what Kiara's up to. Later, yeah? <sighs> what a shame. He was flames. <laughs> <laughs>